welcome to the first Tech Challenge Freight Frenzy game. Rookie FTC team, Joey Roberoos, team number 19377, has made this video to help other rookie South Australian teams who will compete at the state qualifier on the first weekend of December. For Freight Frenzy, Rev Robotics have put out a video on YouTube and a building guide to help rookies and inexperienced teams build a Freight Frenzy robot from Rev Starter Kit. It looks to be a good basic robot. The Joeys are building a robot from this guide. For a simpler robot, rookies can also access the basic bot guides for Rev Parts 1 and 2 from the First Resources Library. The Joeys have built a second robot based on these guides but have reduced the width and the length and done some simple fabrication hoping to improve the game performance. Show the first test drives of this robot. We found the robot has potential to score. We also found that our rookie drivers need a great deal of practice with the game pads. We began driving in open space and then move to the field. The team members have plenty of advice for each other on how to operate the robot. Perhaps practice will have the best results. By using two motors to drive and one on the arm, a fourth motor point remains available for the carousel spinner when using a single control hub. This means that a servo has been used for the cargo grabber. In these clips we have only used cargo blocks but the grabber can collect balls as well but not quite so easily. A Rev Hex HD 40 to 1 motor turns the carousel well. This will be a big point scorer in end of game. On the field we found the robot with width extrusions of seven and a quarter inches or 18.5 centimeters was a bit too wide to drive easily. We plan to reduce the width to six and a quarter inches or 15.8 centimeters. The robot can score on the shared shipping hub by dropping cargo on the rear slide. This is handy as there is very little room to turn. The robot can score on all three levels of the team shipping hub. Thanks for staying with our video. For teams that are interested, the following photos show some detail of the grabber. All parts are available from the local hardware store in the bracket section. A small degree of cutting and drilling is required, but by nicely asking a tech studies teacher or a parent the necessary help or not to be too hard to get.
If you would like more information about this robot, please make contact with the Joeys via the RoboRoos website. Thanks for watching. Good luck with Freight Frenzy. Be sure to have plenty of fun. Cheerio from Adelaide in South Australia.